um, TV shows by us. You watching anything? I just literally watched The Witcher episode one to eight. Wow, amazing! Hmm. Break it down and give it to us. You know, so funny. Like the sequence of the whole TV show does not make any sense, but it's flames, dude. Like, wow. I'm trying. Anyone out there that literally like watches The Witcher, like or watch The Witcher season one, like, God. Are you Crazy. Serious? I can't watch the witches though. I don't like all. Yeah, those. it's like bare magic, yeah, bare magic, but like it's cool though. As I'm trying to watch that video, that doesn't even make sense. He just said it doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I mean, like the, you, you get it, but like the sequence, like of the whole episode one to eight, is it one to eight, one to nine? Um, like they try to like tell the beginning and then re- like we correlate it back to the, like it's crazy. <laughs> Just watch it, yo. Yeah. Doesn't make sense. Make sense. Oh, yes. Look at Precious face. <laughs> Precious oh, doesn't want to watch Tenant, by the way, as well. Sorry, Tenant. Okay, yeah, I've heard a lot of people say they don't understand it. Yeah, when they when when in the first thirty minutes of the sh- like the movie they say, yeah, it's reversed and inverted. You're like, what the fuck is this? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Like, yeah. and then is, is, is that when the bullet to ex- yeah, to like, kind of yeah to show what exactly it is the bullet like reverses reverse off? Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 it doesn't make any sense. Like, you're just like, okay, from here on, I'm probably not going to understand anything, but it's flames. But the thing is, it does make more um sense as it, as it goes on, you know, yes, like, they, yeah, they that explain was- it more. But the thing is, because yeah. obviously, you know, the way we think about physics is very like straightforward type thing but in this world it's kind of like you know didn't they find a way to basically like reverse it by going into like a parallel universe type thing but then the yeah. parallel universe is mixed with our universe so it's kind of like um you know an interstellar when um you know when they're talking about like oh they're trying to <laughs> i think it's interstellar when they're trying to penetrate to like some new like a uh, dimension and he takes like a paper and he folds it in half and he gets the pen and pokes it through <laughs> But it's 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 mind boggling. But I I put Tenet probably in top three films of the year for sure. Mm. Probably top two to be fair. Actually, fuck it. I, actually, fuck it. number one for me. Wow. Number one. But then again, there was like nothing that came out yeah, this bro. year for it to compete against. So that's definitely not Christopher Nolan's best work, man, for sure. Ooh, it's I don't know. Oh man. Huh. I put it in his top three, probably. Oh my day! It's not even better. <laughs> First of all, it's not better than his two Batman's for sure. Oh man! I mean, I think it's better than Batman Begins. I think. Nah. Like just the way the whole kind of um you know story was crafted and executed. Uh, like, bro, do you know how hard it is to make a film like Tenet? And to film it and make it actually, you know, make sense. Like Batman Begins was cool, huh? Doesn't make sense. It does though. Like if you if there's YouTube videos that break it down. If you don't get it, just watch a YouTube video. Explain the whole movie to me simplistically. Okay. Um, mind you, I've only watched it once, and it was when it came uh, out. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, make- yo, three. Next topic. Nick is making excuses. Back <laughs> <laughs> Run him back to the, the thing goal. is, that's the thing though. It's so complicated. You need to watch it like either two or three times, or like watch YouTube videos breaking it down because there's so much going on, and it challenges the way you know you you think about the world and physics and everything. So literally, this film is breaking down like all your beliefs <laughs> type thing. So you have to change your mindset to think, okay, this thing is real in that you know there's this thing called like reversal or whatever where you know things can work in reverse but in our reality type thing yeah i know what you mean but like you know do you guys feel like uh netflix has actually like erased the whole idea of going to cinema because i know cinema culture was never even that big in lagos anyway but like london do you guys feel like because it's netflix now kind of goes like o2 or something yeah just me uh, i don't think that's possible you don't think so? Ah, uh, but well, yeah. actually, you guys used to park in the cinema before, so maybe that's why. Like, nah, we must go to the cinema. 
What a pattern. Are you, are you catching my real drift? I feel like people go to the cinema for everything but the movie. Like, <laughs> <laughs> whether it's for babes or popcorn or whatever, you know, the hot dog. Who's going to the cinema like for the popcorn? It. What? Bruh, Silver Bruh's my best popcorn ever. What? Uh, I, I've never heard of anybody go cinema for the popcorn. But, uh, Who even buys popcorn? Nick, you guys buy popcorn. Come on. Get that home. I buy popcorn when I want to actually watch a movie sometimes. Yeah. It just, yeah, I don't know. Like, nah, you, you got to go with the with the nachos. Nachos. Yeah. <laughs> or even, or even, or even, it, bring in your own food. Go five guys, get a burger and chips and bring it in, you know, get a curry, you know, stink up the whole cinema. A curry. Yeah. That's the whole vibe. Yeah, um, my, my hot dog and my slushy man. Uh, uh, that's the winning recipe. Yeah, you know I'm saying if I'm feeling a bit <laughs> cold, I just have some candy floss, you know. <laughs> but no, I feel like um, you know, Netflix isn't gonna kill or like streaming isn't gonna kill um movies in that or the cinema in that, you know, all the good kind of deep dramatic um, you know high art or like more thoughtful films are going to be on Netflix and streaming and that. And then going cinema is going to be like going to the amusement park in that people are going to go for the big films, you know, the films that, you know, you have to see like on the big screen with like effects and everything. And then the smaller budget is going to be like streaming. So cinemas are going to have to kind of um, either shrink or fill all their, you know, screens with mostly, you know, well, they're doing it anyway, fill the screens with the big, you know, blockbuster, like eight, yeah. 80 mil or 100 mil upwards. Coming, like, coming, you know. coming to America, is, uh, it's going to be on, I think, is it Hulu or Amazon Prime, one of them? Mm. No, so, uh, would, that, would that be in cinema as well? Probably not. For like coming to America too, probably, I mean, they might do, but probably not. Um I don't actually see you going to cinema, man. Yeah. I, yeah. I think comedies aren't going to be going to the cinema anymore. I would feel like in general, like, movies are like, like 99% like black. I don't know, man. I just feel like cinema release is only for like the actual... Do you know what I'm saying? Like, think about how Tyler Perry is so successful with literally capitalizing off the internet and him owning all his shit, right? Mm. But he doesn't actually need to be in cinema. No, definitely not. This is what I'm saying. So if yeah. I'm a producer, I'm an actor, and Netflix is giving me 50 mil, 100 mil to do this, why do I want to be in cinema where I'm able to lose money? And you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, everyone just rather watch it at home, blow it up on their walls or connect it to their flat screen mm. or whatever. So, so, like, people are out here going to buy tickets and all that. Mm. I see cinema's dying, man. Me personally, I see cinema's dying. Going forward, cinema is like a bad, a bad business deal. For sure, for sure. Exactly. Do you know what I'm saying? Just end up like, what's the point? It's a bad business deal. Yep. Well, yeah, but I mean, if if your film is like a an indie type film, it you know is a bad business deal because nobody's gonna go watch it. Like people yep. people want to watch Marvel. They want to watch like big names. Like if Tarantino puts out a film, yeah. like he could sell out weeks just because of the name or like you know Spielberg or whatever. But if you're a uh, you know. Back in- Factor in this new COVID now, you know. The exactly, that. that's the thing. I mean, it, COVID could be, you know, the the final blow, but it, cinemas will never go away, I don't think. But <laughs> don't, you know how many things have gone away that we thought wouldn't go away? It's fighting a personal battle. <laughs> <laughs> no, because, I mean, people still like, like you said yourself, Fresh, like you want to get the popcorn, you want to go like watch a movie or, you know, you want to... I get popcorn at home. I get uh, <laughs> Yeah, but it's about the whole the whole experience. Like you're going out, you know, you go to dinner, you know, you go well, watch a film. Apart from COVID being COVID, the whole economy, <laughs> there's actually just not even that much money. I'm not about to spend ten pounds on popcorn. I can buy popcorn for one pound at home. Is it it's not Everything ten pounds though? Is overpriced anyway. A ticket a ticket is like one K. Everything in the cinema is overpriced. Yeah. Food and the drinks. If I'm already paying I pay four thousand naira for my Netflix every month. I'm going to go to the cinema and spend more on one movie. It doesn't make sense. I swear, going to watch a movie is like one or two k. 
depends on the days, man. Some days could be two five, could be three k. By the time you add your popcorn, two k, add hot dog, one k, add stuff, mm. shit, you know, twenty seven, eight k. Every Even cake. Factoring, like the transportation. Come on, man. Yeah, but it's a whole, you know, it's a experience. I think about this. Thing. You're not doing it by yourself, so I'm going to say I'm going with someone, and I'm most likely going to pay for that person. Hmm. The Alternative Network.